Hello and welcome back to Farm Simulator 2013 in the year 2013. I'm the Gray Gamer and it's February 6th, 2013 and uh, we're just doing some basic maintenance around today. Uh, we still got uh, that wheat field being uh, planted. We got the other crops growing. So uh, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and do some uh, chores, if you will, around. Uh, I'm going to take this tractor over and hook back up to the... Oh, not even close. Wish I could run that chicken over. I know that doesn't sound very nice, does it? But, uh, boy, I'm really messing up. Come on now. Ah, close enough. Wow, where did that attach at? We're not even going to question it. Alright. So let's move this tractor. And tipper. There we go. So we're planting this field in uh, barley this time. And yes, that is the forklift. I had a situation yesterday, and I really wish I could just uh, could have recorded it for you. But you see that weight over there? That weight was attached to this tractor, and this tractor and tipper got wrapped around that building. That the old tractor back there in the barn, the farm hall, was on top of that roof. And the forklift there, I had taken a pallet of wool, and it wasn't full. I had accidentally moved it off of the, uh, off of its pallet, off of its, where it sits. And, um, and I couldn't get it repositioned, so I thought, well, I might as well just take it down to the textile mill. So I drove it down there with the, with the forklift here. And as soon as I hit the spot where you uh, turn it in, sell it, uh, it flashed back to the to the farm here. This tractor or forklift was up in the air, spinning like crazy. Fraps shut down completely. Um, like I said, that that other mower, or that other uh, tractor and tipper got wrapped around that building right there. Um, and, uh, and the farm all ended up on top of that, on top of that, uh, other barn. Now, I, I was able to salvage the farm all there. That one was on top of this building, that the one it's in, the one it's in, uh, kind of sideways. And, uh, I couldn't get this thing to stop rolling. And um, so I finally got the, the, that tractor down, and I got the tipper and the, the other tractor uh, back. I, I had to reset it back to the, to the farm. Um, but the tractor here, uh, the forklift, would not, um, would not reset. And just kept spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning. So I ended up having to to go into my inventory and sell it. And you see those spools of uh, decoration spools sitting right there. One of them was over here next to the silo. The other one was on the edge of the road, oh, clear over there on the other side of the road, leading to town. Um, 
and now I sign in today and they're back where they belong um, like I said I had to sell this uh, this uh, forklift so I'm <laughs> I'm in the process of taking this forklift back to the to the um, sheep so that's what I'm doing uh, like I say we're, we're we've got crops going we're still trying to uh, make up our mind which direction we're going um, but anyway um, so I really don't know what happened uh, I don't know if it's some kind of glitch like you say the pallet that I was putting that I was taking to the textile mill was not full it only had like one or two bales of, of uh, wool on it so man, I don't know if that had anything to do with it or or what um, but like I said I don't know uh, it's just weird it was really weird and then of course today I was going to show you uh, the aftermath of it um, with the pile with those spools and everything um, laying there and of course I sign on the game and they're back where they belong and everything is good in the world again so I don't know what to tell you I'm not making this up uh, it really happened uh, it was like some kind of weird twister <laughs> I, mean, I don't know what else to tell you about it but anyway so so that's what we're doing we're in the process of basically getting everything back to where uh, where it's supposed to be now while this okay then there we go there we go I'm not gonna do it again though but that was about the same I think that was about the same situation and I was trying to position this uh, under it uh, get it ready to pick up the next one and uh, I inadvertently moved it too far couldn't get it to replace and it had already reset so I was gonna have issues so I thought okay just take it and go you know so that's what I was doing all right so that was that situation then we had let me tap through here Right, he's still working. All right, here, here's this situation. Remember, uh, I got stuck on the uh, I got stuck on the cow. I don't know why I'm facing that direction. Um, but anyway, so you think, well, okay, you were in the middle of uh, bringing this back to the to cow pasture. No. Uh, this is where the thing ended up. It was sitting there in the parking lot at the farm. And next thing I know, it's sitting in the middle of this field. Now, I'm not going to complain about that one too much because we're headed, <laughs> we had to take it back down here to the cows anyway. So, uh, you know, um anyway i'm gonna cut the video here and uh when i get done get, getting this out of the way down to the cow cow pasture uh then we'll we'll come back all right i'll be back okay here i am back at the uh cow uh pasture and i flipped to this mode so i could see just how close i was getting to the trough there so uh, we're going to go ahead and unload the grass that I cut on my way over here. And um, we've got 20 cows. And um, so they're not produ producing right now. But we have uh, 1,800 units of milk. And uh, so want to uh, there we go I want to
purchase ten more. Okay, there we have. Now we have thirty cows, and uh, we have one hundred and one thousand because uh, we sold the crop and we did a couple of mower missions um, and we were and we were selling the wool uh, to make some money and uh, that was all good until we had the, the, the twister incident so yeah so let me uh, I'm gonna get another uh, I know it's not fun watching somebody cut grass but hey you know this is some of the stuff you got to do on the farm while you're waiting for the crop to grow and uh, oh good we're up to 35 percent production and we have almost 2,000 units of milk so I'm okay with that and uh, hopefully he'll come by and pick that up and uh, yeah so we're back on our, our plan I got uh, another uh, other stuff I want to do um, but I need 250,000 so we have a hundred thousand now looks like it's gonna go down here a little bit but um, so we're not quite halfway there but we'll get there and I'm at a hundred percent so let's go back over here now let me get back in this mode so I don't I really don't want to get stuck on this thing again I have to bring this thing back up again there we go nice herd of cows turn 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 come in close but not too close get closer Closer, not too close. Stop. Oh. Turn that off. Am I not close enough? What happened? Why is it not letting me tip it? Okay, I don't know what's going on. Uh, I should have been able to tip that right there. But uh, for some reason, do I have to come in from the other direction? It only accepts it from one side. Yeah, apparently. Okay, well, let's unload this. And uh, let's see, we're at 5,000 grass now. So we'll. Put some more up in there. Okay, a little under seven, a little under eight thousand. So that's that's good. All right. All right. Uh, here's Phoenixen. I, I can't get my scroller to work on my mouse. I'm going to have to replace my mouse, I guess. I'm having issues with it. Um, but, uh, yeah. So we'll finish up um, planting barley on this field. And uh, we'll be ready to go with our next uh, group of harvesting. And... Uh, Hope everybody is having a good, good day, and uh, we can watch it from this perspective. A little bit less less noisy. I hope everybody's having a good day, and uh, I hope uh, everything's going well with you. If you guys have had any experience with that glitch I was telling you about, let me know. Leave it in the comments. Uh, like us, subscribe, all of that good stuff. And uh, this is the Gray Gamer for Farm Simulator 2013 for February 6th. 
um, and we will see you tomorrow.